Now, the chairman of the UK Independence Party's youth wing claims he's been sacked for saying he supports gay marriage. 21-year-old Ollie Neville, who lost his job last night, has told Channel 4 News he was naive about the extent to which UKIP supported free speech and libertarian views. But the party says he's been publicly at odds with them over a range of policies in recent weeks and didn't appreciate the responsibilities of holding an official post. Our political correspondent Michael Crick reports. As UKIP bask in recent election results, often beating the Lib Dems in polls, big strains have burst out in public between the party's libertarian and authoritarian tendencies. Ollie Neville's been sacked as chairman of UKIP's youth wing, Young Independence, after saying on BBC Radio he backed coalition plans for gay marriage against UKIP policy. Pushing for gay marriage, which is something I'm a, a big supporter of, it's one of the few things I think this government is doing right. So I think that there's definitely a more social liberal side of Young Independence. I think that's a really good thing. Today, he expressed his shock and dismay at the way he's been treated. I sort of always believed the UKIP rhetoric that, like Nigel said in a recent interview with The Guardian, that he thought um, he liked the free thinkers, he liked the eccentrics. I, I just sort of always took that as the other parties, the other three parties, they say anything to get elected. You know, UKIP and Nigel Farage, they're honest, they're true. And I, I guess maybe I was being a bit naive um, in believing purely that. I mean, UKIP is a political party. It does exist to, to win votes and get elected. It's not just gay marriage, say UKIP bigwigs, but other things Neville's tweeted too. Prostitution and drugs should be made legal, he said. And today, he didn't deny to me, also saying bestiality and necrophilia should be legalised as well. I don't have a problem with people having views that are not in line with party policy. It's just that if we expect people in, uh, in an official position to have a certain amount of discipline. I think that's only reasonable in any organisation. But isn't this incredibly authoritarian? You're just like the other parties, really. You can't stand dissent. No, absolutely, absolutely wrong. We are quite the opposite to the other parties. We, we have dissent all the time. Today, too, the UKIP leadership was accused by one of their MEPs of being undemocratic in deciding candidate lists for next year's Euro elections and planning to axe her. The UKIP chairman says Marta Andreessen has betrayed confidentiality and traduced the party. And he's made strong hints she might indeed get the chop. The people they want are the people who will say yes to whatever uh, the leader wants to do. And I am not the type. I stood against the European Commission because I didn't think they were transparent, I didn't think they were democratic, I, I thought they didn't manage the funds properly. Do you think I'm going to stand out or not react to this lack of democracy in, in UKIP? No, I'm sorry. In the last few years, two UKIP MEPs have ended up in jail. Others have had trouble over their expenses or left the party. So it's not surprising, perhaps, the high command wants a tighter grip on who represents it, if only to disprove David Cameron's famous claim that many in UKIP are fruitcakes, loonies and closet racists. Michael Crick, Channel 4 News, Westminster.